Giratina V-Star, still an incredibly strong deck post-rotation, making quite the statement at EUIC, like the biggest international tournament ever, and Isaiah Bradner piloting Giratina V-Star to second place, only behind Tord Reklev's Charizard. And today, we are going to take a look at Isaiah Bradner's list and some of the innovations that this list has that I haven't seen in other Giratina lists to date. I'm Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about Giratina V-Star. It is a V-Star Pokemon, evolves up from Giratina V, 280 HP Dragon type, and it's got the moves Lost Impact for a Grass, a Psychic, and a Colorless, does 280 damage, and you put two energy into the Lost Zone from your Pokemon, so it doesn't have to be attached to Giratina V, which is important to note. And then we also have, yeah, so really great attack you're knocking out a lot of basic EXs stage 1 EXs V's and V stars and with 280 HP and no weakness it's very hard to take a return one shot in exchange and then for its V star power star requiem for one grass and one psychic it lets you just instantly knock out a Pokemon in the active if you've got 10 in the lost zone so there it's very possible to not get four prizes in exchange for one Giratina V-Star, making it an incredibly efficient attacker. And we've got here the very standard, well, pretty si standard Lost Zone core. We have our 3-3 Giratina, 4 Comfey, 1 Sableye for dropping damage counters when we've got 10 in the Lost Zone, when we got 4 in the Lost Zone, Cramorant for that early game pressure. Some of the new innovations to Giratina V-Star include Iron Leaves EX. This is our Charizard counter with that rapid... Rapid Vernier, Rapid Vernier ability, where when you bench it, you can move all the energy, well, move Iron Leaves into the active and then move all the energy on your field onto the Iron Leaves. And this does 180 damage, and during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. But this is, 180 is okay, but really, we want it for hitting Charizard for weakness. This can one-shot a Charizard, can help you with the trade, and then Giratina later in the match can come in with the Star Requiem, and then you've got two instant KO options on Charizard, very important to have there. We got one Gradient, Gradient Greninja, can be a great snipe attacker with that Moonlight Shuriken attack as well, but really using this for concealed cards to help draw more cards. You discard an energy, draw two cards. Manaphy to protect the bench. And then the big innovation in this list is the 2-2 Shuppet Bayonet line. Now, Shuppet itself doesn't really do anything. I guess you can you can kind of item lock if heads, and that could be something if you're absolutely desperate. But Bayonet EX has this everlasting darkness attack, 30 energy, and during your opponent's next turn, they can't play any item cards from their hand. This is going to hurt so many decks, Charizard in particular, that relies so much on the rare candies and Arvind's Ultra Balls and so on, and you can just grind their decks to a halt if you can get this set up. Now, I will admit, there were opportunities we were playing this on stream, and we never really got a chance to use the Bennett EX, but I can imagine this being an incredibly powerful tech. However, we did use the regular Bennett a lot with that Puppet Offering ability, lets you grab a supporter card from your discard pile and put it into your hand while also sending the Shuppet and the Bennett to the Lost Zone. This is an amazing way of getting explosive Lost Zone coverage there, getting five cards in the Lost Zone in one go between Bonnet and the um, Colrus's Experiment. So I really like this tech. This feels a little more situational, but there are definitely meta-relevant matchups where this can come in handy. For trainer cards, one copy of Countercatcher. When you're behind on prizes, you can gust an opposing bench Pokemon into the active. One copy of Temple of Sinnoh, where all special energies turn into colorless energy this is going to help against stuff like jet energy it's going to help against mist energy where they can prevent you from taking a ko with lost requiem one copy of artisan to get non rule box basics down one copy of four seal stone where in instances where you don't need star requiem you can use four seal stone to help you get set up and grab a card of your choice from the deck four copies of mirage gate you get to accelerate an energy of two different types so like one grass one psychic attach them to your pokemon in any way you like you gotta have gotta have seven cards in the lost zone though uh prime catcher is amazing in this deck where you get to switch your opponent's bench pokemon into the active and then you switch your active into the bench so uh this also gives you an extra switch out for more comfy shenanigans and from there and just gusting as well 
We've got a copy of Poke Gear 3.0 to find those supporters, whether that's Colrus or Boss. One copy of Ultra Ball, discard two cards and grab a Pokemon that you're looking for. Four copies of Nest Ball to get our basics down. We also have two copies of Buddy Buddy Poffin. We have a mix of the two because some Pokemon are 70 HP or less and some are more than that. So we've gotten a mix of the Nest Ball and the Buddy Buddy Poffin for that. One copy of Boss's Orders for Gusting. Four copies of Colrus's Experiment to get cards in the Lost Zone while also building up our hand. Look at the top five, throw two in the Lost Zone, keep three. Two copies of Super Rod, incredibly important in this deck. You get to shuffle up to three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile and put them into your deck. One copy of Roxanne for some hand disruption. Both players shuffle their hands into their deck. You draw six, they draw two. Can be incredibly powerful in the Giratina V-Star deck. And then three copies of Switch so we can pivot our comp phase in and out of the active or pivot whatever we want for that matter. And then for energy, we've got a split of four jet energy, which lets you, when you attach this to a bench Pokemon, you get to launch them into the active. And then five basic grass energy, four basic psychic energy. We do not have water energy here. We are not attacking with Greninja. So general game plan is to build up our loss zone with Comfe and Colrus's experiment. Early attack is going to go to Cramorant. Then in the mid game, we really want to set up Giratina V-Star and just start smashing multi-prize Pokemon. If you've got the Charizard match, you want to set up an Iron Leaves. If you are, yeah, definitely want to get a Shuppet on the board as well. Even if you don't have an opportunity to use Bayonet EX, you can use the regular Bayonet to get that Colrus's experiment out of your discard pile, put it into your hand, throw these into the Lost Zone and help you accelerate your Lost Zone engine way faster. And then that end game attacker of Sableye, dropping damage counters wherever you want. Um, I will admit that the Lost Zone engine is not my strong suit. I definitely struggled playing this on stream and part of it was some tough matchups. Part of it was me messing up a whole bunch. I still have a lot to learn with the Lost Zone engine. So keep that in mind as you, you watch through the matches. Maybe I could have been a little more optimal here and there. And I, I think I was not, I definitely wasn't in the most cheery mood playing through this. Uh, but we do get through it. I do show some, some good examples of how how you can make this deck work in particular getting the bayonet going was something i'm proud of in these matches so uh yeah let's get to it wow three the triple brick and we still got nothing good okay all right let's see what we can do let's see what we can do i kind of hope they brick right here and we get our our lost box pop off if not, then, you know, it is what it is. Colrus's experiment. We get a Comfe. We get a Cram. And we are going to get a Giratina V. And what's the odds? What are the odds? So that was two in the Lost Zone. What are the odds of Giratina getting absolutely blasted right now? Because we could just go in with Giratina and take the Abyss Seeking. And no, we're going to play it safe. Okay, we'll get the switch. And we can't do anything with this at this point. Um... If we go and put in a second shuffle it just to get knocked out, I'm fine with that. And we save our energy so we can retreat. Okay, they get their gold dingo. They're going to be able to attack. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Come on, man. All right. Let's see. Let's see what they do here. They need to get some energy. I mean, yeah, Earthen Vessel. It makes sense that they get two energy. They can knock out the Shuppet. That's fine. We're not in a position to knock out the. The Iron Leaves at some point in this match could potentially knock out Luminion. I'm kind of, I'm glad that we gave up the Shuppet here because that gives us an opportunity to 
gives us an option. We still have the option for the bayonet play. And we could item lock them even. Yeah, the item lock could come into effect right now. Oh, they're loading up with energy though. We could try and get cute depending on what they play. Because yeah, item lock would then stop them from playing the earthen vessels and the energy retrievals and then they're just stuck. I mean, Palkia could then come in and blast and that would be bad. But potentially by then... Potentially by then we are... We're fine. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Taking their sweet time. Picking a prize. Just one. Okay. So, Comfe, we've got three in the Lost Zone. We can get Cramorant to swing right now. Uh, oh, we have to keep Sableye. This is not good um i think we have to have i think we have to swing into the gold dango right otherwise not really a lot going on we can attach some energy to giratina and we'll soften up the gold dango Do have to be worried about a Greninja snipe at this point. Ugh. How's the deck so far? Uh, miserable. I hate it. The the Tord deck was great. We got our matches no problem. We've been grinding this for a couple of hours, and and almost all of the matches have been bad. And I know I'm not a lost box expert. Uh, by any means. We've run into some tough matches. I've made some mistakes. Uh, it has not been a good time. <laughs> I don't think we're... I don't think you're seeing a Giratina video this week unless I put in some extra time on my own. But, like, this has been Neris. Welcome back. How are you doing? Yeah, right now, unless we top deck something amazing here, we're kind of screwed. Like, there's just not a lot we can do right now. And they're going to get the Palkia and... Okay, they can't load up energy. But they, they do have it ready as an attacker if need be. Or to get a Greninja Snipe. Like, we're wide open. We're just in such an awful spot right now. Okay, they're just going to go in with the Palkia. Okay. That's a, not a good use of Star Portal. I mean, we might not be able to do much to counteract that, but that's a bad Star Portal. If we land Lost Impact right now, which is you know, not impossible, then they, they, they're they out on everything. Now, this may not matter. This may not matter. Let's go and see what we top deck here. Okay. Jet Energy, not going to do it. Comf oh, the Bayonet actually helps us out. Huge. Bayonet helps us out here because we get the Colorus back. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay, Puppet Offering. Let's go and get this Colorus. And we Mirage Gates are online. Okay, we are going to attach a Grass and a... Yeah, we'll attach yeah Grass Psychic. Grass Psychic. And I will. Let's go Colrus here. Uh, yeah, we can't Roxanne right now. Actually, you know what? We can counter catcher. Yeah, we're going to get the Gold Dango out of here. Let's go get Prime Catcher, the Jet Energy, and a Nest Ball. Um. We are going to... Do we Prime Catcher now or Counter Catcher now? I'm going to... Let's Prime Catcher now and take out the Gold Dango. 
The Palkia is not doing much of anything right now. Uh, we can set up a second Giratina just in case. And then we can attach an energy to the Giratina V on the bench. And we can... Just lost impact. 280. We'll get rid of the grass on the Giratina. And the Psychic on the Giratina V. Now, if they don't have the Gold Dingo plus the Energy plus all that stuff, then they are in big trouble. I know they have a bunch of Energy in hand. We know that. Okay. Let's see. Can they, can they knock us out? Okay, they're going to get a bunch more energy. Uh, and Varg Vargolf, welcome. How you doing? So they need all six of these to be energy in order to knock us out. All six. No! Oh, okay, they only played the one. Okay. So, yeah, we know one of those is not it. Okay. Okay. I don't think they're knocking us out right now. Oh, God, no. Stop it. 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 Now, there's a couple other lines of play. We do have Sableye online, and or Sableye here. Oh, God. I think they got it. Sableye can take out the two Gimme Ghouls. And that could be a play. They're short! They're short! Okay. 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 Um, We are going to then... Uh, benching Sa... <sighs> I might still hold on to... Let's go and call this right now. If we get a switch card here... Okay, Super Odd, Grass, and I don't need a Giratina V. Let's go grab another Mirage Gate. And we can load a Grass Energy onto this Giratina. And we're in a pretty good spot going forward. We Star Requiem for two. And yeah, I would love to get a Sableye Snipe here, but I don't think it's worth it at this point. We just take the, we take the two hit KO. Okay. All right. We've got three Mirage Gates. Uh, we've got the Rods. We just need to be able to get another Giratina V-Star. And we should have this, should have them beat. Yeah, I think we, I think we, yeah, we just need to get Giratina V-Star loaded up. And let's see how they approach it because we might just be able to Sableye snipe the two Gimme Ghouls and then it's over. But, um, yeah, weird match. Okay. Potentially an Iron Leaves play here. Uh, Iron Leaves as well. Iron Leaves on the Luminions. <laughs> Iron Leaves is not going to knock out the Palkia. Okay. Yeah, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. And we're just going to Sableye Snipe. We haven't done... And there's no Jirachi on the bench or anything like that. I think we can just keep it simple. And Lost Mine for 12. So let's go 4, 5... Three, five, and then for funsies, we'll drop two on the Palkia. And that's game. G, G's. Weird match. Very messy match. But we escape with the win. Um, The big play there was their Goldengo not being able to grab. There's two plays I think that they, they messed up. And one of those was... Um, yeah, not being able to get enough energy and maybe there's circumstances where they could not get the energy there, 
but the bit i think i think using palkia's v-star power when they did was not good and they put themselves in a position yeah they put themselves in a really tough spot and giratina was there to take four prizes lost impacting and then getting the star requiem for four which put them on the back foot they were not able to recover we had multiple routes to victory there. We had game in hand with the Sableye, and they didn't have a Jirachi down. I don't even know if they run Jirachi at this point. And it would have been fairly easy, maybe not not impossible that we brick on getting a Giratina V-Star, but pretty good opportunity to get a second Giratina V-Star to close out that game. So um, yeah, we'll take that win. GG's, not a good start, not a good start. And we're up against future hands too. Like one of the worst matchups we could be in right now. And we hit it. Of course we hit it. Colorus versus Forest Seal Stone. Are you kidding me? Okay, is it? This is not an unwinnable match. It's not good though. It's not good, right? They're gonna get their Maridon out. They're gonna knock out this Confei. Almost certainly in that eight card hand, they have an energy. And they're gonna start powering up an iron hands. Yeah, they've already they've got they're getting rid of energy. So um they are going to put us in a very awkward spot going forward. They all and they hit generator too. Oh yeah, this is bad. This is bad. And they have another generator. So Ampu very much is already in play. Now they only have two cards. That is the potential upside here. Oh, they didn't get the KO. They didn't get the KO. All right, let's go. Okay, okay. Um, potentially good here. If we can get... Let's go. Um, Giratina, Switch, Psychic Energy. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. So Giratina's got to come down. Flower selecting. We get the prime catcher. I think we have to. Okay, we've got five. Okay, can we get ourselves? I think we get a Greninja and pray we can get some more cards here. Greninja. And we're going to get rid of one of the jet energies here. I think there's an argument to be made about hitting the Iron Hands right now. I kind of don't want to. I want to take this knockout on this Maridon right now. And we can figure out the rest later. Yeah, so they're going to take two prizes. And hopefully we can get ourselves... There's Giratina V-Star. We have six in the Lost Zone. We will take a KO on the following turn, assuming they don't... Assuming they've got nothing else going on, like no hand disruption. I think we're in a good spot at this point. They can amp you very much the cram. That's fine. We Comfe. Oh, we need a Mirage Gate. We need a Mirage Gate, so we're we're kind of still stuck at the moment. They're going to Gift Energy up, and Arvin, and let's see what two cards they grab. They get the Baton. No! No! Okay. What is the play? And they have no cards left, right? So they have to make this work. Like, we have them in a good spot, but we just need... 
We need stuff to happen here. Please. Okay, Mirage Gate. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, let's go Flower Select. Okay, we get seven. I think we can get rid of that gear. Uh, did we get rid of one already? No, we didn't. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Giratina. We'll hold on to the Switch. And that's seven. And we should have all our energy still. Like, pretty much all. We lost one Psychic in a Grass. That's fine. Um. <gasps> no! Are you serious? We don't have it? Bro. We prized like three of our psychic. Oh my God. Okay. I didn't think I had to do it right then. Oh, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. I cannot believe we are in this predicament here. This is peak cringe. Now they're going to get down on the Mew EX, almost certainly. Wow, I screwed that up. Like, we prized so much psychic energy. And I, this is what I get. I deserve that. I deserve that. This is wild, though. Like, I have nothing right now. Um, okay, we're going to conceal cards. We do have the psychic energy now. Okay. Um, do we... I think we can Mirage Gate now. We can Mirage... I should have... I should have super rotted. Okay, we're going to Super Rod later then, and we are going to Lost Impact for two Grass at this point. And this might have worked out. This might have worked out because now if we can Star Requiem the this Iron Hands, then we're kind of laughing. How many do we have? In, we have 10 in the Lost Zone. Okay. Even if they gust something up right now, they are still in a bad spot. And we can rock sand them after, too. And I think that's the play. So this was... Hey, Batsquid, welcome back. How you doing? Reboot pod. Okay. They get a bunch of energy on the board, but they're still stuck. Right? Okay. And yeah, they have literally nothing at this point. They're going all in on these Iron Crowns. And 60, 80, 100, 220, 240. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. But it's not... Okay, they have no cards left. I don't want... Okay, we have a Colrus here. I don't want to give them anything. And Sakari with the raid 11 viewers. Welcome, homies. How are y'all doing? I hope all is well with you. Uh, we're going to take the two and the, yeah, the two jet energies and the Giratina here. And we are going to pray that with this, we're going to start Requiem and pray that we don't have, yeah, we're just going to start Requiem here. 240. They don't get to move their energy with the uh, with the rod because Star Requiem is not damage. 
And if we get rid of... Okay, we're in a good spot now. Now we've got... We should have them at this point. <laughs> this is not... Not my finest hour, but we do get the... The win here. Really wanted the item lock to show it, but... At this point, like, they have one card. We just get the win. GG's. Really bad start for us, but thankfully, we were able to... <laughs> eventually get Giratina rolling they were able to get that yeah it kind of worked out where we were able to just knock out with knock out the iron hands and the first one and then use star requiem on the second one which was perfect because that put us in a position where they didn't get the heavy baton transfer and we were able to come away with the win ggs and there we go that is a look at Giratina V-Star, Isaiah Bradner's build with the Bayonet tech. It'll be interesting to see if players adapt and start putting in this tech as a way of slowing down item heavy decks like a Charizard, Chen Pao, Goldengo, and so on. Um, but for me personally, I don't know if I'm going to be playing this build of Giratina. I do like the, the Bayonet tech, like the regular one. EX, I'm not so sure. Um, and yeah, just Lost Zone in general is not my cup of tea. So Lost Zone's not necessarily going to be my pick, uh, though Though I might have to learn because it's uh, one of the few decks that it's one of the few decks that I have pretty much ready to go in paper form. I don't know what I'm going to be playing in tournament next, but I pretty much have all of these cards. Well, maybe not the Baynet EX, but uh, I have a Lost Zone shell ready to go for when I do decide to play in tournament again. But uh, I digress. Still a very strong deck. Isaiah Bradner, an incredible player. Uh, unfortunately, not able to get the win this time, but I'm, I'm sure he will eventually. He keeps getting to the finals and really high placements over and over again. At some point, he will, he will be holding that trophy, and it's going to be awesome. But for now, I got to get going. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me on all the things. YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, at in third person. You can find me on Twitch, at In Third Person, where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. And check out the website, InThirdPerson.com, for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. So, Twitch fam, stick around. I've got one more thing I want to talk about. But for YouTube, uh, we got to get it out of here. Bye!